Hi, in this video we're going to show you another tool you could use to manage your fonts in Windows. It's called Win Fonts View. Uh, it's a free download. All you need to do is download the zip file, extract it, and then just run the executable. But before we get into that, I'll just kind of go over the ways you might be used to managing your fonts. So you can go to Control Panel, Manage Your Fonts, see them all here. You can right-click on them, uh, Preview, uh, Copy, Delete, see the properties. You know, it's just the file properties. Double-click them to see the preview, print it like that, nothing too fancy. Or you might like to go into the window settings where you kind of get a little bit better view of your fonts here. And then you could uh, double click it, change the size, type in some other tests, you know, text to see what it looks like with your specific text, uninstall it, you know, do a search and so on. So this program here, the Win Fonts View, once we run it, it'll show you all of your fonts listed here alphabetically. Uh, with uh, five different previews, I believe. Yeah, five samples here, different sizes. And you could do things like uh, make them all bold, italicized, and so on. And you have the advanced options where you could change the sample text. Let's say, uh, like so. And that'll change for everything. So now you kind of see what your text will look like in all the fonts. Just scroll down the list here. And if you want to show grid lines, you could do that. You could uh, do an HTML report for all our selected items. So let's just pick a few of these more exciting fonts here. Let's say we're going to do these. So then you have an HTML report. And you could just print this out if you want. Choose the columns if you don't need all five of the samples. Copy selected items, select all, deselect all, find, and so on. So if we were to save selected items, let's do this on the desktop here. It's going to save it as HTML file. It'll do a similar thing to the as the report did. It'll just kind of give you a little cleaner report here of that specific font. Copy selected items, the copy to the clipboard, put a notepad, it's just going to copy the name like that. I don't think it'll keep the uh, text here. Let's copy this here, put it in Word. Yeah, it still keeps it as the default font. It doesn't copy it with the uh, actual font itself. So that's pretty much how it works. You can't really manage your fonts and you can't, there's no way to uninstall or add fonts. It's just a viewer, but I think it's a really good tool to use if you want to see how specific text looks with all your fonts. So let's say you're going for a specific you know, type of look, but you want to see the actual text. It's a great tool for that. So I will put a link in the description where you could download it and then you could uh, try it out for yourself. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.